So I'm going to start off with uh, a pretty heavy question. Um, when it comes to creativity and um, like creative work, what's the role of going through struggle in hard times and all of that? Oh, I, I think that's pretty much par for the course. I think that's every mm. day. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's real simple. You just kind of show up. You know, um, actually, I, one of my favorite writers this morning, um, Laura Lipman, uh, she said, Mother Nature is a great example for a genre writer because within very tight constraints, she shows up every day and does something just a little bit different. <laughs> hmm. I thought that was really beautiful. Yeah. It's like, you know, you show up every day within this constraint and, you know, you try to do something a little bit different. And I think that's kind of the, no matter what your creative practice is, I think that's kind of the, the, the very boring, but real secret is you just show up. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you um something I, I learned about you and doing my research for this is that you tend to you like to study a lot of people um that have that have passed away, maybe that are writers and um or even people now. You're I feel like you uh you do a lot of reading and, and stuff into that. Is there is there a common theme that all of these people went through struggle? Is that is that something that you find? Well, I think human beings struggle and mm. I, I don't think that, you know, writers are any different. I think that, you know, I, or, or creative people in general are really that different. I think the problem is, is that creative people have to actually produce something, you know, like a lot of people struggle, but they go to, you know, they might have a job that has very like set parameters. You can show up and like, <laughs> you know, it's very clear about what you're supposed to do. Um, you know, uh, I went to a doctor one time. And he said, uh, he asked me what I did, and I said, I'm a writer. And he said, oh, that must be really cool to use your brain all day. And I looked at him, I was like, that's just what you want to hear your doctor say. <laughs> and he said, um, oh, no, he's just like, you know, and he kind of gestured around at his office, and he said, uh, you know, I know what I'm going to be doing for the next 15 years. Uh, you know, somebody comes in sick and I fix them. Um, he said, you have to make stuff up. And so I think mm. that's that's really <laughs> You know, that's really the thing is that there's this constant, you're never done. Like you'll never hit that cruising speed. Like I think if you're like a world-class surgeon or something, you like figure out, well, this is how we fix people's hearts. And I do four of these surgeries a day or, you know, whatever, and I'm done. And, you know, even if you wrote a really good book, like that's not going to write your next book, you know? And so that's like the kind of perpetual motion of being a creative person and I think that's the real tension and the 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 struggle in the creative world is just that you have to constantly like almost make your own problems and solve them over and over and over again. So you um in your when you released your book Keep Going, um, you said that you almost wanted to quit at some point, like that in that time period before you wrote the book. Why why is that? you know i i really like writing i really like uh reading i really like drawing i like all those verbs i don't necessarily like making books like books is they are really difficult for me um part of that is the machinery of the publishing industry like i really don't um publishers want you to know what the book is before you sell it to them <laughs> And so before you write it or before you even, you know, go at it, and I always find that the worst part of the process. Um, but mostly I was, you know, before I wrote Keep Going, I was just struggling with this, you know, something else we just talked about, which is that you just, you're never done. Like you're just, you're really never, you, you never achieve perfection. Every book is a kind of like, you were aiming for a target, but you hit something else and it's fine, but it wasn't what you thought when you first, you know, started out and you can always see the imperfections and you can always see the failures in the work. Um, but there's two ways to look at that. It's like, Oh God, you're never done. Or it's, Oh, you're never done. You just keep going, you know? And so it's, it's really like a mindset thing. It's like, uh, it's like, oh, I have to write another book versus, oh, I get to write another book. You know, that's one of my favorite, like, kind of linguistic tricks that I forget who taught me that. But, um, you know, just this idea that and, – and ultimately that, you know, you're 
I mean, this is it's it's a it's a good gig to make things. Like it's fun. Not a lot of people get to do it. And just to remember, like you know, how lucky and kind of blessed you are to be doing the work and and to go at it, you know, and kind of be grateful and go at the work with gratitude. I think that I think that was the thing about like writing keep going was I I was able to like be really grateful for the process by the end of it. Um and so yeah, that that book was a book I read because I needed to read it. Like I really needed that book at the time. And I like books to have that kind of urgency when I write them, like that I feel like they need to be there. Uh, if I, if I don't have that urgency, like they're really hard to work on.